mic on this. Actually, this new camera is unbelievable. It's almost eliminated our need for lighting and sound because the cam the, it just adjusts so well that the lighting doesn't mess it up. You know, you've probably heard that yeah, before. You've got yeah. a good lighting and filming. And it's almost like we're mic'd up. You know, that's how strong yeah, the mic yeah. is. But we, where we are, we still, I, I still kind of project at it or whatever and they just mumble. Yeah. Is it running now? Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, we're, we're here at the hot tub now. We had an ice bath. Now we're having a hot tub. And out of the specialist gym area comes young... Ben. Ben. Ben Tacey. Ben Tacey. <laughs> and he's a long distance runner there at his main events. So what's the story, Ben? You're studying what? Um, so I study Bachelor of Sports Studies at USC, uh, major in marketing. Uh, it's going into my second year this year. Right, that must be so interesting learning in the marketing. Yeah, yeah, it's cool, it's cool. It's, yeah, right. It's a lot more to it than you think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Okay, so you're a long distance runner, am I right? Middle, middle long distance, yeah. Okay, we were talking times before the camera's rolling. I've done the 5K in five minutes, 15 minutes 30 before, in a, in, when I was 18 in a sprint triathlon in Canberra, but young Ben's faster. How much? Faster? I did a 15.01. 15 15.01, man. Yeah. man. That is quick. What's the world record? 12.35. 12.35. But he's fast. Most people, they dream of getting near the 15 minutes or even below the 16, right? Mm. Yeah. 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 I want to I wanna get under 15. I was a bit disappointed that day that I didn't, but it'll, yeah. it'll, 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 it'll come. Okay. Yeah. So is your goal to be an Olympic runner? Do you think you'll get... Um, it's somewhere, hopefully. Yes. I guess it's on the... On the yeah. So you've got... Um, running coaches here at the university helping you with that or somewhere else or yeah not with the uni but we've just got a local coach that i, I work with okay yeah, yeah. wow yeah. he's so fast though what, what's your 1500 best time uh 357 357 oh, and your uh let's say only 5k what's your 800 159 159 so brian abbey this man was faster than you were back in the riverina <laughs> mate yeah he, my dad used to do it in two minutes something but it was really quick and he used to win yeah. And he was like, um, I don't know, held records in the Riverina and all this kind of stuff. But that's 50 years ago. I yeah. mean, you're faster than him. Yeah, much different, faster. different times now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, we've got much more understanding of nutrition, don't we? And the shoes training techniques. Well and yeah, right. All that sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow, you're so fast, though. Um, is there anything else that you think would be really interesting to our viewers about your running and your thing that you can think of? Like, um, I don't know. Like, hard to say yeah so do you do you run every day yeah pretty much okay so how, how, how many kilometers do you do a day i do well when it depends what time of year it is and what sort of training phase i'm in in like a base phase i'll be doing like 100 110 a week k's a week 110 so, k's a week so that roughly if you do the math like 17 ish k's a day 16 so yeah right yeah, but at the moment, coming into some racing season, so I've just dropped it down to about 70 k's a week, 60 k's a week. So Is that so that you aren't overtrained and you're yeah. fresh for races? Yeah, just stay fresher. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, I had a question. It's already slipped my mind. I had one to ask you about your, your running um, when you're training. Oh, anyway. But that, yeah, so you're doing that many kilometres a week. So you're eating a lot? Because you're, you're a nice lied dude. You're, yeah. what, what do you weigh? Uh, 63, 62. That's a great hard. weight for running, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, pretty light. Yeah, and those people that want to know about weight loss, if you're running a lot like um, Ben is, um, you will you you know your body automatically dumps weight, doesn't it? Because yeah. it wants to be lighter so it can be faster. Yeah, it just ha naturally happens if yeah. you're doing that much running, doesn't it? Yeah, just burning up all that fat using all those resources. Yeah, gets rid of the calories pretty well. So yeah, right. Yeah. So you um, the, when you came out of the gym, what were you doing there? You weren't doing any weightlifting or um, more sort of like. Um, like stability and core and some weights but not like heavy weights or anything like that just sort of general sort of strength and stuff like that yeah because you need to be live don't you you don't yeah. not, not for distance run. oh that's the question I had for you are you, are you you're not going to do marathons or anything like that like because you want to be quick at the shorter distances so yeah. that would be a different style of training and running would it yeah. or definitely at this point in time definitely focus on the shorter stuff yeah. um, I think marathons maybe probably make that decision a lot later on I reckon because still pretty young but when I'm, maybe when I'm like 25 or 30 then I could look at it but yep. for now definitely just the shorter stuff have, yeah. you, have you ever gone for one of your morning runs or whatever uh, how, well, how many times a day are you running just once or twice 
once, sometimes twice. Yeah. At the moment, just once, yeah. Okay. Have you ever gone on your morning run and ended up doing 42Ks or something because you're just getting such a runner's high that you just go... No. No, no. Right. <laughs> The longest I've ever run is 28Ks. Okay. So... Yeah, there was yeah. just one morning you just kept going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. right. Well, I, did, I had planned it. That's how far I was planning on going. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's the longest run. Done. Okay. Yeah, right. When, when I was running and doing triathlon, typically I was only running 5Ks a morning or seven days a week I was doing it. Yeah. And uh, I might go for a swim or a ride in the afternoon. Um, and that, but with um, running, I did build it up to doing 10Ks every morning because I really liked it. And then once I was doing the 10Ks, because I wasn't a, necessarily a fast, long-distance runner like you, I, I, I didn't know what I was. I was just running for fun, more or less. And uh, so I, I, um, the idea of doing marathons did cross my mind because once I started the 10Ks, there were mornings where I'd just run 16 or 20 because I just was getting the runners high and just sort of doing it to get high, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, so I started imagining, okay, well, if you do a marathon, maybe you get really high or whatever, yeah. and once you start running those sort of distances, you start feeling really capable, mm. and you think you can do it, right? I mean, yeah. here I'm telling him, as if he doesn't know already, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, no, I'm, but I'm telling you guys too. <laughs> yeah, it would definitely, doing that sort of marathon stuff would definitely be something else, I reckon, just the, the stuff like run, racing a marathon, the sort of stuff your body and mind would go through, and then, yeah, mm. finishing the line would be something else, but... Right. Yeah, that's right. What you said, getting high, like that's pretty much what it is. Like, yeah. <laughs> after a hard workout, after a hard race, it's, it's a weird feeling. It's yeah, good, right. But, but yeah. you're really sure what you want to do, aren't you? Like you've known for a while, you want to be a, a, a the sort of runner that you are, and yeah. you're you've got a blueprint and you're going for it, right? Yeah. It was so interesting meeting you because you're yeah, doing the yeah. ice bath too, right? Yeah. First time in a while, a bit of a shock yeah. to the body. It's, it's funny though because you don't get shocked. You just jumped in and you weren't like most people when they get in twelve degrees, they do go. <laughs> but you just jumped in like you weren't doing anything. Yeah, yeah. Just like, trying, just... You're hardcore. You're yeah. tough, man. <laughs> it's good. It's good mind training. Yeah, training yeah, yeah. There, yeah. Yeah. What, do you, what are the different reasons you like the ice bath? That's that's what you want to talk about too. It's like. a good. It's good recovery. That's the main reason I use it. But, yeah. Um, yeah. You can do sort of different different sessions, like depending on like if you want to, like if you're fatigued or if you're sore, things like that. Different like duration times that you go in the ice bath for. Yeah. Um, right. So, yeah. That's pretty cool that you know all these different training strategies depending on what you want to do that day, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. really good. There's yeah. all um, yeah. things up there as well. It, is, so. is it wrong that I, like, what I like is to just get in there and stay in there 20 minutes, half an hour? That's it's, like, for me, like five minutes in there, like that's, I'm done. Like I'm getting hyperthermic. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think they say like the longest people stay in there is like 10 minutes. Yeah. But um, yeah, if you can sit in there for 20 minutes, that's pretty yeah, oh, pretty good. and they, they reckon the best thing to do is walk away cold as well. Mm. But um, like today, we've come to the hot tub. We haven't been here for ages. Um, it's, just, it's actually not very hot yeah, today, it's is it? Not, it's room temperature. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's twelve as usual. But this is usually like forty or something, yeah, yeah. and it's nowhere near that. This is like what? What did we just say? This is twenty eight or something? I checked it. Yeah, it was like thirty. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty eight, thirty. Yeah, right. Oh well, so it was cool to meet you. Hey, I'll show you this thing that we always do. That's the Beal Heights M. Do you feel like doing that? What is it? So you do the, the horns, oh, yeah. upside down, and you do the M. Like oh, my yeah. house that I live in, I, I jokingly on, on YouTube call it the Beale Heights Manor, and yeah. this is the Beale Heights Manor M. Oh, so, that's it then. rock that's and roll. <laughs> that's what we'll finish off on. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thanks for that. Thanks.